Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. We are back in the LZ Alpha with our four duplicates trying to make the best of our world. And this arboreal rock that we have landed in. I think I actually want to do a bit of that. And let's get out here and have a look. As you can see of this map, we have a very, very little things that we can work with to make our lives so much better. We have two water pockets. We have ethanol everywhere. The important thing about ethanol is it's not water. We have a distinct lack of of algae and this brings us to a carbon dioxide issue i've been searching on the on the wiki today uh trying to figure out the exact numbers we need of things like oxy ferns and uh, what we're going to do when we start burning uh, natural gas over here and it turns out that maybe just maybe i don't have enough oxy ferns on the go as you can see here the carbon dioxide is being used at a rate of 200 and, uh, 600 sorry and 25 milligrams per second according to the wiki that works out to roughly 333 grams per cycle uh, um, these guys do about a thousand, so... Oh, yeah, the big embarrassments, by the way. I kind of got Luna's name wrong. <clears throat> Bam. Okay, cool. Fix that one. But we need 3.2 oxyferns per duplicate. And as you can see, with the four duplicates... Actually, let's make that five duplicates. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Oh, we got another digging and rancher. No, I just I just want the, the rancher. Unless, actually, there's anything really bad going on here. I do want you need it. Okay, we're, we're going to have Ren, and we are actually going to call Ren the Cypher. Yes, indeed. We should be able to get him in here, and he is going to be our rancher. We're going to have him looking after all the animals. Why do we want animals? Well, as I was saying, it was going to take 3.2 oxy ferns per duplicate, so we need to uh, get a whole bunch of those on the go. But then we also want to do some other things to create power, right? And that power is going to produce an awful lot of carbon dioxide, but it turns out slicksters, those wonderful creatures you find at the bottom of the map, you only need one of those per generator, whether that be a coal generator or a hydrogen generator. So the first thing I'm actually going to get going with today is extending this all the way down. Yeah, we have a very, in, uh, very interesting coincidence of building patterns here. Turns out that we need 16 oxy ferns, and well, you know, I managed to put down exactly 15 farm plots here. Now, the thing that kind of worries me is the millwoods. You can see they're all at like 70% and stuff like that. So I'm going to be waiting for the next harvest, and then we're going to be moving them over this side. Indeed, we only have two, four, six, eight, nine of them, so we could probably put down a few more. We've got a station. Oh, this means we've done the supercomputer. This was the research we were waiting for uh, last time, so that we could move on to to bigger and better things. You know what, I'm gonna move this over here. I'm even gonna build another one over here and we're gonna have this research station be here. We're probably gonna move this one. Let's uh, deconstruct it and let's have a look at what new research we want. Now, obviously with that going on, we want to get the ranch in because we wanna be able to move those slicksters around. They are very important. Another thing that I probably wanna do at some point is move down towards the decontamination so we can get the carbon skimmer, but of course the carbon skimmer uses water. So that's why I'm a little bit worried about using that. When building an entire new system like this over this way, you are left with a bit of a conundrum. Do you want to siphon power off of this original generator you have going over here? Or do you want to make your own new generator on this side? Now, I think for this one time here, I'm going to actually just run the power straight across. But in the future, when we are doing uh, some better things, I will have like individual power transformers. This, of course, will be another line of utility tunnels up here, I think. Looks like I uh, made a little mistake and we're going to have a utility tunnel every three instead of every two but i can definitely live with that a, a single jump across with wires pipes and tubes will be fine for us okay things are starting to be ready to harvest here so we want to uproot that one if you could we gotta have to, actually no we don't need to put it on a high tech uh, high level of priority because other people actually have farming as their high priority so that should work out pretty well for us yeah look, look at that just like that and then we can go around and put oxy ferns back in because of course that is what we're trying to fill here with so you might notice that there is a bit of a problem with this irrigation uh, needing 19 kilograms of water per day for the oxycon. Uh, oxy fern, sorry. <laughs> but it turns out, looking upon the wiki once again, that this is actually a more efficient use of water than the electrolyzer, which I find very surprising to say the least. But if the wiki says it, I'm going to believe it. It's something like 4% uh, more efficient. The oxy ferns use 98% of the water to turn into oxygen, but the electrolyzer only uses something like 80. I'm, I'm not sure of the exact numbers now that I say that off the top of my head we will have to go and find out again at some point 
Cycle 14 is mostly passing without incident. I've done a few things like make sure that the base is cycled off from everywhere else. We've got these uh, plant pots done properly. But mostly I've been going around looking for the odd bit of oxy fern that I can find, trying to build a way out there so that my duplicates can go over and grab and expand our production. Is there any actually in here? There are not. But this, this is one of my big concerns now is I don't actually think we're going to have enough to get 16 before we need to go and find another 3.2. Ah, oh, Mr. Lionel Man Frank have the skills to bump themselves up so we can make some better stuff now and dig through. I think finally we can dig through the Abyssal. Is that not what it does here? Uh, cannot lose super, super hard dig. Wait, let's, let's go over this side. Uh, Duplicate's Master. It doesn't tell me. It doesn't tell me. It did, however, tell me here. So, top tip if you're trying to find out what a skill does, go and highlight someone who doesn't have that particular skill. Yeah, but Abyssal like mining, brilliant. So, what does this do? Diamond and Obsidian. Okay, that's, that's a thing to bear in mind. We are experiencing a few issues in pressure up in the main building here, the main uh, bunkhouse. Hopefully getting this airflow tile in place will work. You can see I've done the very rational thing of going around and putting all these build orders on this side of the base onto a nine so that they will go around and do those ones first. I've also got a few little things here. I'm going to eventually do the same over this side, but more importantly, I want them to come down here and get this oxy fern. Very important. So there's now two of them. I've been watching them go through my stuff quite a lot. I understand that these guys are people that can uh, plant, uh, plant uh, plants for you. Plant plants, yeah, that's good enough. But they're just causing me trouble. So I think we're gonna find some more at some point and tell people to go attack them. I mean, they look cute, they look wonderful. Uh, is Luna gonna do the job for us? Doesn't look like she is. She's a pacifist, I understand. So there appears to be no way of individually turning up the priorities for the attack. If I come over here, though, it uh, turns out misaligned, the best at attacking. Who would have guessed that? So let's give that a uh, high priority and see if she comes along. Where, where is she? There we go. You're going you're gonna to do this nice and quickly. Are you going to get beaten up by the pit? That's the real question. A little bit, a little bit. Nothing really to worry about, though. Second one, here we go. It should be fine. I only slightly hit my microphone there. But uh, yeah, this should all be absolutely perfect. We've got a little bit of damage taken, but more importantly, we've got some meat to work with. Uh, I suppose with the damage taken, we'll throw down a triage cot and bam, I have decided where my medical bay is gonna be. Well, look at that. We don't actually have any good doctors. And even though it's going to pain the base, it's really going to slow us down. I'm going to put Missaline on there. The reason it's going to slow us down is because she's the strongest in the base. Therefore, she can carry the most stuff. Uh, also, the best digger. She's the one who's going to get through all the Abyssalite. But thankfully, we've got people like Forrest over here doing the good dig down. Uh, getting down towards hopefully a Slickster. It's really what we're after. Quick problem, we appear to have a bit of a problem with the uh, oxygen flow here. We're producing too much, so the carbon dioxide can't get in. It's not it's not squeezing its way out there. So I've got to make myself a whole bunch of new uh, airflow tiles up there. Also, the airflow tile in the bedroom did the job. It was beautiful. Straight away, we get another duplicate as well. Uh, I'm actually going to leave them, but this doctoring operating one seems like a good one. Oh, we could just get a doctor. No, I think the doctor operating one is probably a good one, but we, we do need to leave them because right now we do not have enough weight of the dealing with the carbon dioxide. Uh, less than a cycle till she's back on the job. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, we appear to still have a bit of an issue. Yeah, look, this shine bug here is still coming along and passing the light in. So we need to replace this with a, a proper door. A, let's do this. Let's go deconstruct. I'll take a nine on that, thanks. And then when that gets put down, we'll put the, uh, the airlock in place. And that should, hopefully, keep the light out. Oh, this could be good or this could be terrible. We've got a neutronium patch here. That means there is a geyser underneath this. We've got some obsidian so people can't get through it yet. But it'll be very interesting to find out what's there. It's definitely a geyser of some description if you just listen to the noises going on. So I quickly dragged out a box around it. Just be like, yeah, let's contain this. And this is a very weird shape to what I was expecting. Normally geysers have got like that on the go, maybe even that. But no, I can put down a whole bunch of tiles right down to here. Wonder what it is. You know, I haven't really strongly considered what to do with the polluted water when it comes out of this sink. And now is the time to find out because look, it is all done. So I think we're going to have to dump it somewhere. It's the only way to deal with stuff at this point in the game. I would like to put it somewhere remarkably hot. Um, maybe over here, maybe down here. Uh, because hot, of course, kills food poisoning. And food poisoning is what comes from toilets. I don't know if you guys are aware of that. Maybe we'll pop it down here. I mean, that might be a little bit too far. Perhaps over here as well. Ah, in fact, this is much better. This is hot, but this is close. 
Okay, shine bug, sleeping person. I think we're okay. Of course, the shine bug goes in the completely opposite direction. I've not had a look, but I didn't see anyone getting unrested as I came over to actually have a look. Uh, this shine bug on the way. Uh, all right, I will talk again the moment that happens. Okay, light levels would obviously spill over at this point. There we go. It, it's totally effective. In fact, when someone walks out of this door... Bam! You can see how much that would have lit up if it was indeed a pneumatic door. So we're doing good there. We're doing good. One problem solved. One out of like seven. <laughs> So we have a bit of an issue right now where a lot of the power is not being generated because even though that this is a quite a high priority, no one has operating as their priority. So I think what I'm going to do is come over to Forrest for now because he's the researcher. He can also do the operate and maybe that will work out for us. Of course, eventually we will be uh, printing a new duplicate to be the operator. But right now we got a serious problem with oxygen and carbon dioxide. What was once the busy and industrious work face of this downwards ladder that we are building is now unfortunately going through abyssal light, so only Mr. Line can dig. It's a bit of a shame because I wanted to get more people down here so we could dig this out because you can see every now and then, I mean quite often, uh, there's not enough oxygen down here to actually be survivable. But when we dug through here to get the oxyphone, it turns out that we had a massively overpressurized oxygen patch over here, which was cool. But of course, the moment Forrest went in there to actually dig up the oxyphone, uh, he got pop tears and stuff like that. Yeah, it, it wasn't great. But he came back up, he, he sorted himself out, and this now means that we have this oxygen patch that everybody who is digging down here can come and, uh, come and enjoy. I'm not sure whether I want to, like, seal it off. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's, let's do that. If we seal it off, it's then going to be, like, available for everyone ever. I, th I think that's a good plan. Okay, color report 17. Let's have a look. We made more calories than we ate. We got rid of more stress than we got... Uh, got rid of more stress than we generated. That's the word I'm looking for. The germs went up. We might have to do something about that. And the errands went down. That was cool. We did more than we uh, set priorities for, set jobs for. Uh, the work time, that was good. Half my time in travel time. Maybe we could do better than that. The, the cypher doing the most travel. Mm, Luna doing the least. Oh, no. Yeah, Luna doing the least. That's, that's an interesting interesting time idle though miss a line hmm. wasn't expecting that at all wild critters here okay this, this is looking pretty good mostly apart from the oxygen generation we're doing incredibly well and of course we don't have to just look at those numbers we do have graphs here on the colony summary page here uh, and actually it's looking pretty good look at these calorie consumptions versus generation i don't i think that's looking pretty good uh, unfortunately i don't think the scales are the right are the same because look we've got 600 uh, 6000 at the top there but we've only got 4000 at the top there that kind of annoys me but i'll live with it power wasted not so great uh yeah no it's all looking pretty good actually all right, we got our ranching research done. That's pretty good. I'm also going to go for the farming next. I think that's a good shout. And actually, mate, no, let's let's forget about that. Ranching good, fossil fuels better. Okay, so I suppose we're going to start with our little hatch here. Where are we going to put them? I think most of the farms are going to start off over here. So what I'm going to do, of course, this is uh, the, the utility corridor, so I'm not going to build on that. We're just going to drag across a whole bunch of tiles like this and then open up a huge amount of space. Now, if I remember correctly, we can come up to the room overlay here. I'm looking for stables. Look at this. We can do a maximum size of 96 tiles uh, on the scale of four. That's quite a lot. 24 wide is the maths that I totally didn't do on a calculator right there. So if we grab this, everyone should just use a calculator. Calculation is not mathematics. I just need to point that out quickly. A lot of people are like, oh, if you can't do numbers in your head, are you really doing mathematics? Well, no. Just knowing which numbers I need to crunch are doing the mathematics. That's my opinion anyway. This is something that has annoyed me for many, 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 many years. But uh, anyway, it's fine. Uh, it turns out there's little bits of obsidian even underneath this door, so I'm never going to find out what this is. Well, I say never. I'm not going to find it for some time. I just got an achievement, or at least it told me I've got an achievement. But is that a colony achievement or a steam achievement? Looks like it might be a, colony, uh, a steam one, sorry. Ah. Uh... Oh, man, I've been talking about Slixus for so long. I didn't actually look over here. We've actually got three. Um, sorry, all you guys. I need the Slixsters. I'm going to still carry on digging these guys down, but it looks like we actually need to stay up a ranch over here or maybe over here. Over here is probably where it's going to happen. Of course, we get the carbon dioxide. Uh, no, sorry. Let me start again. We get the natural gas. We pump it out of here and we put it into the natural gas generators. Those natural gas generators not only produce polluted water, which we can clean up and use in the base and we would have a water supply then, so that's pretty good, but also also, it produces a bunch of carbon dioxide. Now, carbon dioxide, awkward to deal with. 
Not now that I've got three slicksters though. So we put some air mesh tiles underneath. I think that will work out pretty well. Okay, so I need to figure out what we're going to do over here. I need to stop the priorities on all of this. I'm just going to hit a five and we're just going to go no. Okay, so it, it's good that they will come along and dig these at some point. But over here, this is where we are now prioritizing. So I'm going to go for a six all the way that way, come down like this and across over like this. And hopefully that's going to work out well. But we've got a colony achievement. Bam, to pay the pills. Use a duplicate skill points to buy out an entire branch of the skill tree. It's, it's broken. This is such a broken achievement. If this is the second time I was doing a stream yesterday where I was doing the, the hardest challenge I could possibly think of. That's the hardest map on no toilets. Uh, it went actually quite well, but I got this achievement pretty early on as well. And I, I really had not got all the skill tree. Let's have a look in there. Any ah, Luna, maybe, actually. Hmm, okay, all right, that's, that's pretty cool. But no one else has. I, I kind of feel like this one shouldn't count, you know? <laughs> I've never seen a salt vine ready for harvest. Look at this. They eat chlorine. They've got to have a, a relatively steady body temperature. Quite low, actually. Uh, and then they produce salt and seeds. Okay, that's, that's cool. Given the state of the research right now, I don't think we're going to get to the natural gas generator in this episode, but we will very much get to the coal generator. So I think down here we're going to make a nice little area for the slicks. Of course, we're still going to have the hatches up top. We can then move the uh, coal that they produce down into the power plant. Here we will have to deal with a lot of carbon dioxide. That's fine. We'll drop it down even further to a stable where we will have a bunch of slicks. This guy might have to be moved, but that's fine. The slicks will then turn that into oil. I think maybe I'm going to use a pitcher pump or rather I'm going to use some mesh tiles and a pitcher pump to make a reservoir down here. I don't know whether the oil is going to be hot or cold or what, but uh, we will find out most definitely. You know, I think it's a shame. You can't just drop the bigger batteries on top of the small ones and go upgrade this, please. That, I mean, that would be very useful, wouldn't it? Even on a priority of nine, people do not want to clean out the toilets, but it's quite important. So I'm going to uh, give a little yellow alert here. Every time they do a little appreciation or have a little pleasant chit chat, see a friend, I can feel my bad bossmanship coming cr crashing out and be like, stop doing that, get to work. But of course, you know, it's lovely that they're doing these things, right? A happy dupe is a hard-working dupe. That, that's what I'm going to go with anyway. Okay, we got the coal generator. That's pretty good, actually. I wasn't expecting it quite as quick as that. Once again, we're going to do a uh, four-tool room here. Let's just one, two, three, four four about there that's brilliant got a whole bunch of stuff we need to rip down in here i have got no problems with doing that uh, i also need to get rid of this and incidentally this is the size of the max size um stables that you can have so if you are not building something like this size for a stables you are building too small oh no oh no she got trapped in a hole and now i don't know if she's gonna make it go 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 it's so little oxygen please oh wow wow where do i find out exactly how much she had there we go wow that that was close that that was far too close for comfort Incidentally, down here, I'm now putting down a whole bunch of stuff to empty the polluted water into. You can see we've got this whole uh, whole area down here nice and uh, spaced out. I'm going to put a pitcher pump down as well. Oh, beautiful. That should now organize a, a wonderful little warm area for all the water to go into. Okay, with the bottle empty there, we can put the polluted water in. It's going to be very interesting to see whether these things get finished before the polluted water goes down. I'm not that bothered if people get covered in a little bit of food poisoning. It's that's something that we can deal with within the base. I am super tempted to leave it as it is apart from this tile here. Everything else can kind of just stay. I'm going to put this down on like a lower priority, like a four, something like that. Um, so if they want to go wading through it, they can. But mostly they will only do this one here. So I've just breezed through a few cycles there to try and get this critter ranching area built. I've also given uh, Decipher here his ranching skills and the ranching cap. And now we're going to go and try and wrangle this guy if we can. There we go, wrangle. So hopefully, uh, I was going to say Forrest, but no, that's just because I saw his name. Hopefully Decipher will come along, as it turns out, tomorrow to come and wrangle this guy. Okay, a new day, a new task. Hopefully the Cypher's coming straight over to come and catch this boy. All right, I love this. This is great. That's the, quite a weird animation. It's a little bit too low down, if you ask me. But hopefully when this yellow bar comes across, we should end up with a nice hogtied hatch. Beautiful. Now I'm going to come over this way. And I'm going to say, hey, critter drop off. Can you, I mean, not all critters. Let's actually just go. Can you drop the hatch here? That would be great. Thanks. Also, I've got these lava eggs over here. And you can see how they're incubating down here. Everything seems to be okay. The viability is 
is definitely dropping. So far, we've got a change of zero per cycle, so it's nothing really to worry about. But yes, the incubation period is going up and it is climbing as we talk. But I think I would like to move them over this way so that when we do incubate them, that they do, in fact, be in the right area. That is perfect English there, and I love it. So we're going to set up this storage bin over here so that we can tell uh, Luna to bring them over because Luna, of course, is the person who brings all the stuff around. Uh, this is on, like, a super high priority, so we just got to wait it through. But as you can see, I've got the uh, coal generator here hooked up to a whole bu bunch of batteries, and hopefully when the carbon dioxide gets made, it will fall down into this area where the slicks will eat it. Critter egg, and then in here, where were you? I saw you somewhere. Lava egg. There we go. The problem is they call it a lava egg when it's very much like a slick egg, um, but of course, slick is also a different word. I, I don't know. Let's, let's, let's just leave it at that, shall we? Oh, look, there we go. The hatchling, uh, sorry, the hatch got moved in. Now, we need to pick what type of food to feed it, and I think I'm going to feed it dirt. I saw that somewhere. Yeah, cool. Uh, that's because that's a relatively cheap material, and also, there's a whole bunch of stuff on the floor for it to eat. We've got the grooming station here. I kind of want to pump that up just a little bit, uh, and let's have a look at this guy. Is he still wild? He is, but you can see that at some point, we're going to be able to give him a little, uh, little rub down and, and give him some good times. Uh, in fact, I'm even going to put this up just a little bit higher. Okay, Decipher is literally on his way. Here we go. Uh, if you're wondering why I've got this uh, door up top situation, one, it's so the hatch can't jump out, but also I've been doing it down here because uh, the carbon dioxide is going to be down here and we don't want that flowing up and over. Of course, there will also be oil down here. So, you know, there's a bunch of stuff to uh, to look out for there. Look at this guy getting his teeth cleaned. Oh, that's good. It's quite a uh, quite little piggy teeth he's got there. If we uh, have a look on here, does this change his wildness at all? We'll have to probably wait till the end of the grooming cycle. There we go. It happened and it's dropping. Let's have have a look we are losing 55 percent per cycle that's two two days and we're good okay so luna pick it picked it up picked it up uh and we lost some growth okay that's fine the moment we get here i'm also gonna deconstruct this thing because it's literally just there to wait around right wait what happened to them what happened to them? Critter eggs, lava eggs, where are they? Okay, so they are actually here. Only three of them, that's fine. I am fine with this. It says it's in the storage bin, so let's just drop that. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, we'll go back to the lava egg. Okay, the viability is fine. We lost a percent moving them, but I think we're all right doing that. So as you can see, when we took out that one tire, we have actually broken the stables because it is exactly the size we need it to be. And our size of this stable, that is a 24 by 6, uh, no, tw yeah, 24 by 4. Uh, uh, this is the uh, 96 tiles that we need, as you can see, 97 with this. Uh, but that can support, I believe, six hatches. Four puffs, and that's the only difference. Six of most, most animals, four puffs. Puffs are the only one that need just a slightly more room. I'm not sure why they need more room, but the, uh, the devs have decided that is so. And a colony achievement, which one is it? Good egg, hatch a new critter morph from an egg. Oh, really? What did we get there? I, I'm not even sure what we got there. Let's stop this and have a look around. It's not anything here, so let's have a look and see. Are, are there critters anywhere? You know, I'm having a good look around, but I can't see anything new. I was expecting it to be in the base. Maybe it's this one here. No, you're good. You're good as well. Everything appears to be things I've already seen, so I wonder what it was. Oh, incidentally, whilst we've been powering through these uh, these cycles trying to get the uh, hatchery done, I uh, turned off the exit to this door. I'll have to remember to turn that on at the end of the, uh, the game session, but I really, really want this lot get, to get done. Oh, I'm a little bit worried about what's happened here. We've just managed to drop them down into the tile. I could build a uh, a storage container to do this again, but I'm not sure. So Misaline is having trouble eating for some reason. I'm not sure what's going on there. She doesn't seem to eat at the same time as everyone else. I mean, I'm kind of okay with that, but it would have been a lot nicer if she just ate at the same time with everybody else. You know, it's that, that great morale boosting of eating with the family, right? That That's definitely something we need here. Due to the bad planning of the duplicates coming along and popping holes in the stables here, we've actually started to climb a little bit back up in the wildness scale. But thankfully, Decipher is coming along to make things all right, clean their teeth, make them feel like they're a good little boy. I think that actually this is going uh, quite well for our guys. We are getting more coal all the time, and that is good because this is starting to get built down here. But of course, along comes Mad Frank to make the, uh, the grooming place not work again. But with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Look! 
look how much further we have opened up the map. Today we've gone around and done quite a few things. First off, we got on a crazy wild goose chase down here trying to find a slick, but of course we got given them from the principles. We then started building a whole bunch of ranching over here and some way to deal with all the polluted water we're getting. Next time, I'm going to have a look at the uh, natural gas over this side. We'll set up a nice little uh, production facility over here and then maybe move more slicks over to deal with the carbon dioxide from that. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.